On September 30th, 1995, it was an unforgettable, horrific night for the town of Bel Air, where Terry and Marilyn Brooks were brutally, sadistically, and ritualistically murdered that night by their own son, Nathan Brooks. His mom's room was the first door that we went into. She was laying in the bed, and we could see puncture wounds. Down the hallway, we encountered Nathan's room. We find Nathan's father's head in a wash basin. On the walls of his room, there's all kind of satanic symbols. He had a list. He come over to my ex's wife's house hunting for Ryan. He went over there and they said he had a shotgun with him then. He was gonna kill his brother. When I heard the details about how he killed his parents, I thought, how could anybody do that? I mean, this is the United States of America. We're supposed to be one nation under God. One nation under, what? what is that? That's one nation under hell, ain't it? Probably in my top two worst things that I've ever seen. We've been on suicides, murders, and car accidents. The mattress was soaked, covered in blood. He was reading the Satan Bible, which he said, you kill the closest to you, and you get closer to Satan. He went through with the entire things that the demons wanted. There's even reports that Nathan was smelling rotting flesh leading up to the murders, which is a telltale sign of a demonic haunting. He sold his soul and he sold his family's soul. He sacrificed his parents to Satan. I just think he was under the influence of it. And he knew enough about demonic possession or say, well, I blacked out, I don't know, because he knows that blacking out is one of the phenomenon that uh, happens during a valid possession. Growing up, it was like the horror story they told. It was a crime. It happened, and I guess you try to forget about it. Yeah. There's something truly evil that happened that night that still sits and resides and swirls around this town of Bel Air.